Now when we ask these people that why are you a vegetarian, they tell us that killing animal is a sin. Because killing living creatures is a sin. So I said, I agree with you. If a person can live without killing living creatures, I'm with you. Today science tells us that even the plants have got life. Previously people did not know that plants and vegetables had life. So now the logic has changed. No, no, we understand, we realize plants have got life, but plants can't feel pain. Therefore, killing an animal is a bigger sin as compared to killing a plant. Now science has further advanced and we have come to know that even the plants can feel pain. Though we cannot hear the cry of the plant, but even the plants can feel pain. They don't have a very well-developed system, but they can feel pain. And there was a research done in America that a farmer had made a gadget where you could make the cry of the plant be heard to the human ear. Because the human ear only hears between 20 cycles to 20,000 cycles per second. Anything below and above this, the human being can't hear. Like this is below 20 cycles, I can't hear. If I do fast, I can hear because it's above 20 cycles. You know the dogs, they can hear up to 40,000 cycles per second. So you may have heard about the silent dog whistle. You blow the whistle, the frequency is between 20,000 and 40,000 cycles per second. The human beings can't hear, the dog here and comes to the master. So the cry of the plant cannot be heard by the human being. So there was a research done in America where a farmer makes a gadget and whenever the plant wanted more water, it would cry out, he used to convert the cry and he could hear it. So today, science tells us that even the plants can feel pain. So now, there is a non-Muslim argument to Maxim said, okay, but Zakir, I agree with you, the plants have got life, the plants can feel pain, but you know, plants have got about two senses less as compared to animals. You know, animals have got five senses, plants have got three senses. So I say, okay, for sake of argument, I agree with you. The plants have got three senses, animal has got five senses. So I ask him the question, that suppose, if you have a brother, who's born deaf and dumb. And if someone comes and kills him, will you go and tell the judge, me Lord, give this murderer less punishment because my brother had two senses less? In fact, you'll go and tell the judge, give this murderer double punishment. My brother was masoom, could not hear, could not speak. Give him double punishment. So where is the logic, two senses less, so less punishment? In Islam, it does not work two senses less or two senses more. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, Baqarah chapter 2, verse 168, eat of the things which are good and halal for you. What is permitted and what is good you can have. So what is halal, what is lawful, and what is permitted and what is good you can have. As far as non-Muslims who are against eating non-veg, you know, if I agree that, fine, we should not kill any animals, you know, the population of the cattle, it grows so fast that if we stop eating animals, there'll be overpopulation of cattle in the world. You know, now we have overpopulation of human beings in some countries, India, China, we'll have problems with overpopulation of cattle. And personally, if non-Muslims don't have non-veg, I've got no problem. Believe me, I've got no problem. Because if in India, all the non-Muslims start having non-veg, then maybe the price of mutton and beef will go up. So for me, no problem. If they don't have non-veg, I've got no problem. But if someone tells me that eating non-veg is haram, it's a sin, that's the time I give all this logical explanation.